We continue to unlock engineers, and this time we are going to unlock Colonel Briss Decker. <laughs> We once again unlock more engineers, and this time we're going to look at the Colonel. Um, the Colonel is probably one of the large engineers you want to unlock if you're going to unlock her at all. Because the only thing she does really that's useful that you can't get at other engineers is frameshift drive instinctors. So unless you have a very specific build where you need those engineers, probably a PvP build, then you might not need... Um, Need this engineer. She's also a third level or a dead end engineer. I mean, there's nothing, doesn't unlock anything else. Um, so, unless you really need those great five frame shift drive interdictors, um, it, it's not one of the most useful engineers, to be honest. But regardless, we're gonna go through him, through her, wow, and, uh, and see how we're gonna unlock her. So, as always, when we go in here, uh, as we can find her here, I haven't actually unlocked her myself. We are going to go through the three steps. First of all, you need to learn about the engineer, which you do from Yuri Ismark. Already done a video on Yuri, so click in the more info icon to see that video to, um, to unlock him and to get the knowledge of the kernel here. The second thing you need to do is you need to gain access um, so you need to get an invite to uh, to actually come to the engineering base, and in order to do that, you need to be friendly with the federation. Um, but there are actually a, a, a hidden prerequisite because, as you can see here, her home system is Sol. So you need a permit to Sol because there's, of course, a permit lock on, uh, on Sol. So to do that, you need to get to um, to petty officer, which is the fourth rank in the um, in the federation. But we're gonna go over that in a little bit. I just want to go over the last step here, the need, and that is to provide one million credit worth of combat bonds. And this might uh, change depending on the system state. I think sometimes this will only be a hundred thousand, but in my case here, it is a million combat bonds. And we're also gonna go over that. And then finally, we're gonna look at how you can actually level up the engineer. What I find to be the easiest way to do that. But before we do that. Let's start by heading out and looking at how you can get friendly with the Federation and also get that soul permit. So to get friendly with the Federation and to get that soul permit, I recommend you head out here to Suthis, as you can see here. Suthis is a, uh, a system quite far from the bubble out here together with another system called Cios. Um, both systems that are very well known to, uh, to most players. And the reason why I recommend this system and these two systems actually in particular is because if we head in here to the mission board, you can see there is only a single Federation uh, faction out here, but they do offer a ton of boom data delivery missions all going to um, to see us. So what I, re what I recommend you do, right now I am the New Holm station in Suthis, and you would probably take missions to the New Dawn station in Sios because they have boom data delivery missions back and forth between each other. So you can take the missions from here and go over to the other station. Now, I think I recommend, while you are out here anyway, there is this guy from Sirius Corporation. I highly recommend that you take some of the data missions for, for them and also do the donation missions when they are available if you haven't unlocked Marco Quint yet. Because Marco Quint is another engineer. He is notoriously hard to unlock. And one of the prerequisites is that you get allied with the Sirius Corporation or at least friendly, I can't remember, but at least you get need to have a good standing with the Sirius Corporation so you can get access to um, to Sirius. So also running some missions from these, for these guys will help you later on if you're unlocking Marco Quint. If you have unlocked Marco Quint already, you don't need to take missions. You can go to other, another system. I would probably still go out here because of the absolutely insane amount of boom data delivery missions. Um, and of course, this can vary from... Uh, system state to system state so sometimes you might not see as many it can be a little difficult to get started maybe if you have a low um, low reputation when you start try it out um, and eventually you will get there you can keep track of your uh, federation rank out here as you can see i am currently friendly with them um, it will diminish over time so but it will settle in at around 74 or 75 percent um, your rank you can also see here i'm currently apple and um, 
if you get stuck, most people get confused with this at the start if you're new to the game, your rank will increase to 100%. So if you are a low rank, it will, it will say 100%, just like mine does right now. And it will, it will stop there. That's because you need a rank of mission, which we call something like Federal Navy Ascension or Federal Navy something something mission. Um, they might not be available out here. They have made some changes to make them easier to find, but you might have to go back into the bubble to find those missions. But don't worry, because even though it is sitting at 100%, you're still accumulating points towards your next rank behind the scenes. You just can't see it. So you're still just saving up points, and as soon as you then complete that rank up mission, all the points you've collected will then go towards your next rank. So you might actually be able to get three, four, five ranks very quickly once you find a place that offers these rank up missions. So that's what you have to do to get the friendly status and to get the soul permit to actually be able to fly into soul and get access to the engineer. So once you've done that, um, before we head back to the engineers, you can of course go and, and collect some uh, some materials. You need that for unlocking, but otherwise you will need that one million in combat bonds. So um, let's head out and let's get those combat bonds. So in order to get your combat bonds, what you're gonna do is you're gonna first come into the galaxy map. We're gonna go over here to the second to last tab. We're gonna make sure that we show the stars by state, and we're gonna find a system either in war or in civil war. You see, already checked them off here. And then on the map, we're gonna find ourselves a system. You can see them already in here. Take your combat ship and get to the system. Once you're in the system, you're gonna to navigate to your navigation panel and you're gonna look for these conflict zones. Go for low intensity if you're not that experienced in combat. I'm gonna go for a high intensity, which is right in front of me. So uh, let's drop in and uh, let's get ourselves some combat bonds. As soon as we arrive in the conflict zone, we have to go over here to our functions tab. And the first one here, it says faction. You can now choose the faction, choose whatever you want. I'm just gonna take the first one. Oh, there we go. Half of the ship will now turn red. So um, now you just uh, find a, sh a red one. There's, oops, there's one. Get your weapons out and begin collecting some, um, some combat bots. Once you have been in the conflict zone for a while, you will see here in your transaction tab, you will now have um, some combat bonds. It will say the amount of credit you have and then bonds and then in the company name or the minor faction that you have. Um, note, these are for power play. Just make sure you know that it's the right one. These are normal bounties that you gather in um, in, um, in high res sites. So these are, when they say bounties, those are not the right ones. They need to say bond. Um, so once you have at least a million credits, you are ready and we can now fly back to the engineer. And back at the engineer, we now have all our, um, our combat bonds that we need and we have the permit, we have everything. We can now go in here to engineering shop and over here we will have a box that we can actually donate our combat bonds. And yes, we want to donate all of it. There we go, which pretty much unlocks and you can see here, stuff doesn't really un uh, unlock properly, so we have to relock and get back in in order to get all the facilities properly unlocked. If you want to level up the engineer as well, this is of course optional. What I recommend you do is you engineer a um, a frame to drive interdictor for for many reasons. First of all, they are for sale, as you can see here. I already fitted one, but there are plenty of them for sale here at the engineers. So you can buy them on location. And the materials you need is actually not that bad uh, to collect. So we go in here. I then recommend you go for the expanded arc. Um, because you can see here mechanical scrap. You can get that either from Dav's Hope or from the Nathan Class Tanker. Both of which I have videos on. So link to that. You can also go to the spreadsheet that I have that shows a list of all the engineering materials you would ever need. Put that in the description below. Um, but again, just quickly going to run over the materials where we can get the mechanical scrap is either from Dav's Hope or the, or the tanker. I think it's slightly easier from the tanker maybe, I'm not sure. Here again, we have mechanical scrap and unusually encrypted files. The encrypted files you can get from scanning satellites. Um, also have video on that and that's also going to be in the more info icon. Moving on, grid resistors, you can get those at the same location as you get these mechanical components, which you get at the same place as you get the mechanical equipment and the mechanical scrap. All of these spawn in the same location at the Dav's Hope or the Nathan Tanker, so I'll really link to those videos. 
And then we have the divagent scan data. I think that is from, yeah, the divagent scan data you get from scanning surface science bases, which I also have a video on, luckily. So um, there's a link for that as well in the Moin Ficon. And you can also see it in the spreadsheet, of course. And the straight wake solution you get from scanning high wakes, which you can do in distribution centers. Um, again, more videos for you to look at up here if you're interested in that. So go out and collect the materials you need and you can level up or if you want to do a long range, of course, uh, if that's what you want to put on your frame to drive engineering one anyway, you can of course gather the materials for this and then just unlocking, um, unlocking that. So that is, um, is pretty much it. Um, and this actually concludes our first block of engineers. Um, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, give a like down below and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And also next time, I will see you guys in space.